convicted rapist and killer Tabo Besta and his partner Nandi Makudumana, including 10 co-accused, are back in the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court today. Makudumana and Besta were reunited in the dock back in August for the first time since their deportation from Tanzania earlier this year. The court heard how Besta lost luxury items and money worth an estimated 30 million rand when he was arrested. Besta has also claimed that uh, inhumane treatment uh, while in custody at the Hoshimamburu prison. He was handcuffed in his cell, at least that's the claim, for 23 hours a day. All of the accused face a string of charges, including helping Besta fake his death in a fire in order to escape from the Mangawung prison in May last year. All right, let's take you now to the Bloemfontein Magistrates Court. Uh, Linda Mnisi is our reporter and uh, he joins us live now. Linda, good morning to you. A little earlier, you had a conversation with uh, Katleho Beren's father and that is the person whose body was used as a decoy in order to fool authorities that Tabo Pesta possibly had died. Uh, talk to us about what, we can, uh, what you got out of that conversation, but also, importantly, what uh, is likely to come out of court today. Well, you'd report that uh, the murder charge in this case was uh, withdrawn, and the expectation from the Bering family is that it be reinstituted because, of course, uh, one of the biggest things that this family is crying about is the fact that there needs to be accountability for the murder of their son. So what they're calling for really is that the state reinstates that murder charge. And one of the things that they were talking to us about earlier was the fact that uh, uh, till this time it seems there hasn't been any direction or clear direction around what will happen to it. They've also uh, reacted to uh, Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana being granted bail and I see her lawyer is in court will just try um, to walk and I'm going to ask my colleague Maxi Lodolo to be handheld so that we can get to her legal, re legal representative uh, who will give us a thing of what uh, to expect uh, you know, this morning, given, of course, the fact that the last time that uh, she was in court, what we were told, uh, or, rather, or rather the judgment that was handed down, was denying her bail. So there are a number of reports that we're hearing this morning, and perhaps, um, you know, he will give us a sense of... Uh, what uh, it's looking like, as you can see, is also engaging other legal representatives. That I'm going. Thank you so much for your time. This morning, we're hearing of reports around your client being taken out of prison by force, and um, you know her being unwell and there being arrangements being made for her to appear virtually. But it seems that um, you know was thrown out, and she's now taken out of prison by force. Could there be any truth to that? I'm not sure. I I'm trying to verify that. I'll be meeting with the prosecutor shortly, just to understand what the, you know, the extent of this issue. I must say that I didn't get an indication that she was not well. Um, to it, I, you know, immediately went to see her, uh, met with the area commissioner and the doctor, and um, it was confirmed by the doctor that she's not well, um, an arrangement would be made. So it's really, um, it has come as a shock uh, to hear. If, if that's really indeed the case, um, we will tackle it accordingly. But I, if really it is the case, that would be a cross violation of, you know, of uh, human rights, uh, particularly the right to human dignity. But let me just check and, and, and we can talk, talk about it later. So arrangement was that she wouldn't be coming to court, she would be appearing virtually? That she wouldn't be coming to court. She's unwell, you know. She's unwell. Um, so that was the arrangement that I met a doctor. It's not a question of having heard from somewhere else. I met a doctor personally, um, and, 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 and I was made to understand as well that she's unwell. All right, thank you so much. You know, it's, it's just not only her, apparently. You know, it, it, a couple of, 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 of inmates there, you know, since Monday, they've been not well, apparently, due to 
alleged um, food poisoning or something of that nature. But it would appear that it's not just her. So did her doctor confirm that it was food poisoning? Confirm what? That it was food poisoning. No, that she's, un- she's unwell. That she's unwell. I actually wanted a medical certificate for that, you know, uh, for that matter, including medical uh, report, so as to understand the extent of this issue. Um, but they informed me that they can't do that. They would uh, be in liaison with the courts in regard to that. All right. Thank you so much. That's and, uh, Mr. Mutlong, Machini Mutlong of Machini Mutlong Inc. They, she's rep- he's representing rather Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana Koli talking about reports that are coming out this morning around Dr. Nandi Pamakudumana from the Kronstadt prison. What we're hearing when we arrived this morning was that she was forced out of the prison even though uh, she's unwell and uh, taken by force by the police, put at the back of um, the van and of course, uh, um, you know, other details um, that were given uh, by the people that were giving us information this morning but um, of course as you hear from her lawyer saying that indeed she was unwell and was meant to appear virtually so if she's coming to court then something should have or could have gone wrong. He says he did meet up uh, with her as well as the doctor who did confirm that Dr. Nandi Pamukutumana is unwell. So right now as you can see behind me he is making arrangements to try and confirm the reports that are coming out of Kronstadt because from what we're told she's on her way that to to um, uh, this magistrate's court this morning where she'll be making an appearance. Polly? Yeah, Linda, very quick question to you. Based indeed on Nandi Pamakutumana's state of health, the other reports this morning suggesting that she may no longer be kept in the Kronstadt prison but rather in Gokstadt at uh, the maximum prison in Guazulu Natal. Are you able to confirm those reports as to where exactly is she being kept? Well, Tony, I'm going to need you to repeat your question as we got cut off there a bit. All right, Linda, where is she being kept? Is she still at the Kronstadt prison or is she at the Gokstadt maximum prison that's in Guazulu Natal? Just a quick clarity seeking. A uh, point there, perhaps you could put that to the authorities if indeed you don't have that information right now. Okay, from what we understand and from what we're hearing this morning is that she was coming from the Kronstadt prison. That's the Bizamakate Correctional Facility that's in Kronstadt. It's about two hours away uh, from where we are. And essentially, um, you know, that's where she's been kept all along, not unless, of course, there's been any changes which would need to confirm uh, with the authorities. But as far as we know, this morning we're told that she has been, she's coming um, from the Kronstadt a prison and there has been no indication uh, that she's moved to the Coxstad, um, you know, uh, maximum prison uh, since then. So we'd have to check with authorities fully around, uh, you know, whether or not she's been moved. But it's also important to note that Dr. Nandi Pramagutumana is not a sentenced prisoner. She is an awaiting trial prisoner, which would also have an effect on whether or not she's moved uh, to a different province. There they would have to consider things around traveling because if you recall uh, this matter is still on the court road and she still needs to uh, come to court there are already issues around um you know, safety and the transportation of the people that are inv- uh, involved in this particular matter. If you look at, for example, Tabo Besta, who has to come all the way from Pretoria, um, you know, in Gauteng, to come and make an appearance here uh, in, in, in Bloemfontein, it is, of course, something that uh, the authorities sometimes flag as a risk because they have to travel by, of course, those vehicles from uh, that particular facility. So, at this point, Claudia, what we know is that she is kept at the Kronstadt prison. All right, Linda Mnesi, thank you very much for uh, giving us uh, some uh, clarity there. But of course, we are going to keep a close watch uh, as to the developments around this case.